but it's absolutely gorgeous, man. Welcome to another adventure RVing with Tim. The first weeks of October, I spent in New England watching the beautiful fall foliage. From my home in Greensboro, North Carolina, to Bar Harbor, Maine, I traveled over 3,600 miles in 17 days, stayed at three RV parks and two Airbnbs, visited many cities and too many towns to mention for an experience of a lifetime. Follow me, see what I saw, RVing with Tim out. Tim Stanley doing another segment of RVing with Tim. I'm here with yeah. Anastasia, yeah. and she's the owner and manager of this fine restaurant. What's the name of it? Penny Hughes Cafe. Penny, all right, and so we're in Burlington, Vermont. We just left the campground. We're at Dorset RV Park. We just drove up to Burlington to pick my daughter up. She flew in from Miami to join us on the trip. And we, we like to go to nice places to eat while we're traveling. And so we Googled restaurants here, and you popped up. Good reviews, great reviews. That's how we found you. And we said, hey, we, we got to go to this place to eat, and I'm so glad we did. This is what I had. Can you talk about this place, Jay? Yeah, so it's the namesake. It's Penny Clues, so house-made biscuits, and uh, it's an herb cream gravy, so a little different. Okay. Spinach and parsley, uh -huh. and uh, turkey patty sausage, house-made as well. Okay. Yeah. And the home fries, which usually the big question is why they're yellow, and it's turmeric. Is oh, that what it is? Yeah. But I tell you what, those potatoes were awesome. Um, I wish my other daughter was here. Whitney, she loves potatoes. We kept saying, Oh, Whitney would love these potatoes. And what got me excited was, y'all, is, you know, I'm from, we from the South. We from Greensboro, North Carolina. We like biscuits. And I asked the uh, waitress, I said, hey, are your biscuits made in the house? Because a lot of places they don't. And they, she said, yeah, we make them. And then she said, our sausage is a turkey pork mix, right? Yep. So you make them here yep. as well? Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, this is the <laughs> nice place. And the beauty about it. The, uh, the ambiance is nice, uh, the restaurant, we right near the University of Vermont, right? It's right there, so it's a great city, great vibe, and it's a great restaurant. And I'll tell you what, my daughter had, she had the chicken leg plate, what was chili on that? Lime. Chili lime. So, yeah, fresh cucumbers. Yeah. Some spice so going. everybody had a little different something, lunch. Uh, I had breakfast, it's what, what time is it? Two o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon, and it's just great. So all my whole family enjoyed it, and I just want to thank you yeah. for hosting us and having, a, having really great food up thank here you. in uh, Burlington, Vermont. So how long have you been open? 22 years. Wow, yeah. awesome, we awesome. just came through the other side of the pandemic. Is that right? So yeah. I see why they've been here for 22 years, because the food is absolutely amazing. So Tim Stanley, RVN with Tim. We just left uh, Dorset RV Park, came up here to pick up my daughter Simone from the airport in Burlington, and we stopped in this restaurant here to explore the town. But I tell you what, it's off to a great start, Anastasia, and appreciate you so yeah. much, okay? Yeah, thank All you, right. enjoy the trip. All right, thank you, Tim Stanley, RV with Tim out. All right, it's Thursday, October the 7th. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the afternoon in downtown Burlington, Vermont. I'm right here on the corner of Commerce and College Avenue, so Commerce, is the street right in front of us and college run left to right but anyway this is where we dined at at uh penny clues restaurant and i showed you the uh the, the the nice lunch i had so this is college avenue pointing that way and right there is university of vermont hence the name college avenue <laughs> all right so they got a lot of fine dining a lot of pubs breweries you name it you can find anything you want pizza uh nice restaurant stores high-end stores as well as res resale shops, all that down here. Nice day, man. High was about 70 degrees. You know, it's 530, so the temperature's starting to drop a little bit. But they got everything you want, desserts, tie-in, uh, just everything here, Chinese, Thai, you name it, they got it. All right, now, further down College Avenue, the other direction is Lake Champlain. Now, I'm gonna show you some views from that. Sun was kind of high and it messed up the video, so I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down a little bit. but. I'm gonna take you down that way to Lake Champlain. The lake is so big, half of it's uh, New York, spits right down the middle. One side is New York, the other side is Vermont, and the lake stretches almost uh, maybe a third of the state and then also goes into Canada. So I'm gonna show you that. So here, downtown Burlington, Vermont, uh, the campground, Dorset RV Park in Dorset, Vermont is about two hours away. We came to Burlington, one, to see it, and also to pick my daughter up. Uh, she flew in from Miami, and we picked up the airport. She's gonna 
continue on the rest of the trip with us. So, Tim Stanley, downtown Burlington, join the view. All right, I'm at the corner of Lake Street and College. And I told you College runs all the way up through the shopping, restaurant, district where I was, and all the way down to Lake Champlain. So I'm about to show you that. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Earlier, the sun was too high. I wouldn't have got a good video. So I kind of wait for the sun to go down a little bit. But anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, Lake Champlain is huge, man. It's a real big lake. Half of it's in New York. The other part touches uh, Vermont. And it also extends up to Canada as well. So this is the... Uh, lakefront i'm gonna take you down there as well bike path man 10 mile long bike path or walk path sailboats you can rent ferries you name it it's out here but unbelievably gorgeous okay so let me show you how big this lake is i'm gonna come around and i'm gonna drop down to the legend right here and you can see how big the lake is it's massive so new york's on the left vermont's on the right and the boundary line splits right down the middle of the lake and you see it also actually extends into canada now, uh, I worked for a company, and I used to travel from North Carolina to Canada every every Monday and travel back on um, on Friday afternoons. Crazy, did it for a year. But I used to fly out of Greensboro to New York and then into Burlington, Vermont here, and then I used to drive for two hours into Canada, and I did that for a solid uh, year. But anyway, flying into Burlington, Vermont, man, you see that lake from the airplane. It is absolutely massive. So anyway... I'm going to show you more of the lakefront. Let's go hit it. Right there is College Avenue. I'm going to swing around in the background. That street up there. Swing around and show you uh, the lake, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. The sun kind of sunk down on me further, further down, I was like. So I couldn't have got a good video because the sun was too... I've been facing the sun, taking a picture of the lake. But it kind of got dark on me. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. People sitting out on the docks, heading out, jetting out to the lake. Right there, you see that light blinking, this little lighthouse. Or a little entry or your cove you come into the little inlet here. <laughs> Alright, we spin around, we kinda like lake level, I'm give you a different view. A little higher up each side of the boathouse. Man, see the mountains in the background, the rolling hills. Super nice, man. Very little clouds you see in the background. Those are mountains gently rising up from the, uh, from the lake. All right, this is the other side of the boathouse. On a lake coming in, you see a sailboat coming in, a power boat right there on the top left. You see a little breaker where they come in, the little inlet where it comes in at between the uh, little rock bars there. And you see the little lighthouse beacon blinking right there in the center right now. Alright, we'll swing around. And you see a sailboat Gary come into uh, the slip right now, right over there. Is Gary turn it. Oh, he's doing pretty good. He must have a 
side thruster and stern thrust to bow and stern thruster on there to make a turn like that. Yeah, and the way he stopped on a dime too. So yeah, he got a bow and stern thruster to make a push like that. Well, look at this lake. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So they go to Boathouse, nice restaurant. Got dining you can do in there, clubhouse. Look at that, man. Lake Champlain.